welcome you all in the 12th day of national webinar series ayush bibodni firstly i would like to thank our chairman sir engineer amarjit singh waliya sir for their continuous support for organize such different eras i also would like to thank our respected principal ma'am dr minakshi nath and vice principal ma'am dr midu sharma for such a great initiative for organizing and for encouraging and motivate us and our college students a very warm welcome to our faculty members and all the viewers who has joined and supporting us consistently now i request our vice principal ma'am dr mridu sharma to say a few words on today's webinar over to you ma'am thank you very much sir good afternoon everybody myself dr mridu sharma whole heartedly welcomes you all to the ayush vibodhini series an initiative by our college shrimati mila devi arvedi college hoshiarpur punjab i welcome today's guest uh, speaker of shalya tantra dr sudesh gupta sir thank you for accepting our invitation in today's covid time webinars are the easiest and safest way to gain and circulate knowledge so it is a great initiative uh, taken by our college with full zeal it is going on a great swing and i want to uh, just take the advantage of your knowledge everyone should be benefited from your knowledge over to you uh, bupinder sir thank you thank you ma'am i hold heartily welcome our today's guest speaker dr sudesh gupta sir before moving forward i would like to share few words dr sudesh gupta sir was my guide during my pg studies sir i always feel lucky to have you as my guide you always motivate and encourage me throughout my pg studies you always inspire me sir today i am here because of your guidance and blessing thank you sir now time to give you the brief idea about sir's professional life dr sudesh gupta sir presently working as a associate professor at government ayurvedic medical college jammu he has completed post graduation in 2009 from sdm college of ayurveda udpi karnataka he has joined as a assistant professor in june 2009 in post graduation department of shalya tantra jammu institute of ayurveda and research he has promoted as a associate professor in 2014 and in june 2019 he has promoted as a professor in november 2019 he has promoted as a head of post graduation department of shalya tantra in april 2021 he got selected in government ayurvedic medical college jammu as a associate professor in shalya tantra department now he is working as a associate professor and head of department he has presented papers in many national and international conferences he has got best paper presentation award in sushruti conference he has also got the award of honor by the rotatory club of jammu in august 2017 he has guided more than 12 pg students and acted as a co guide of more than 26 students he has published 25 papers in international scientific journals he has the member of board of studies of ug and pg in jammu university since 2010 He has been examiner of more than five universities. He has chaired various scientific session of national and international conferences. He is he is running his own clinic at evening time. He is the most leading colorectal surgeon in Jammu. He has performed almost fifteen hundred anorectal surgeries. So it's our privilege to have such an eminent personality. to present the today's topic and share his eminence knowledge with us now i request dr sudesh gupta sir to continue the session sir please over to you sir thank you thank you dr bupinder for such a beautiful introduction about me thank you sir 
first of all good afternoon to everyone for all the audiences also who are sitting in this presentation uh, i am great to know that uh, our uh, that our chairman of shri urmila devi ayurved college of medical sciences and hospital for giving me this opportunity to be a speaker in this uh, conference in this national webinar i am i am also thankful to dr meenakshi nath uh, ma'am for uh, she is principal of this college for giving me this opportunity and dr nidhu sharma also uh, without wasting much of the time i know it's a evening uh, afternoon session and most of you are loaded with the lunch and you may get sleep also so without wasting much time let me start directly to the topic uh, we'll share the screen and we'll start with the topic डॉक्टर गोविंदर आई एम ऑडिबल ना यस सर यू आर ऑडिबल ओके ओके सो द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडेस प्रेजेंटेशन इज एप्लीकेबिलिटी ऑफ अष्टवी शस्त्रकर्मा इन क्लिनिकल प्रैक्टिस द बिफोर स्टार्टिंग द टॉपिक आई वुड लाइक टू से सम फ्यू वर्ड्स अबाउट द टॉपिक लाइक अष्टवी शस्त्रकर्मा karmas or the procedures which are very very important as far as the clinical practice is concerned and acharya sushruta emphasized more about on this ashtu shastra karmas the life of every individual you all know that life of every individual starts with the healing of a cut umbilical cord so the as the as the person comes to this universe he is first first encountered with a wound so the treatment of the wound uh, everything reports about this wound only and we uh, many of the procedures are included in under that under that uh, treatment of that particular wound we have got like very much focusing on the topic we have got like ast ast ashtu shastra karmas and those ashtu shastra karmas are chedyam vedyam lekhyam vedyam eshyam maharyam sravyam sivanam sivyam iti so shuddha has very clearly emphasized on on these eight shastra karma so most of the surgical procedures what i will be focusing on today's topic is whatever the procedures today we see all these procedures can be incorporated under these ashtu shastra karmas uh, which are cited by acharya sushruta so these are ashtu shastra karma like chedan vedan lekhan vedan eshan aharam misravan and sivan a few classifications according to charaka charaka given only six classifications sushruta eight and acharya vagbata has added few more and made the number into 13 yes very important the first procedure that is a chedan chedana means the act of cutting we have to sacrifice from the, something from the body which is not needed to the body or which is causing some sort of trouble to the body that need to be sacrificed from the body sushruta is very particular when he talk about this chedan karma he says apakeshu to rogeshu kathineshu stireshu jasnayu kothadishu tat chedanam praptum uchyate anything anything which has got uh, like pathologies which are uh, which are very difficult to reverse back like some or some sort of uh, neoplasm some sort of growth growth which cannot be reversed back necrosis which cannot be reversed back anything any in anatomical anatomical dispensable parts hanging part extra parts excision to be uh, excision to be conducted on the part for example a part is necrosed a part is uh, putrefied that that is causing septic uh, reactions to the body that needs to be sacrificed from the body sushruta is very particular sushruta says anything which which is not attaining paka which is very hard where which is causing disturbance to the body needs to be sacrificed from the body or needs to be chopped out from the body in that if we talk about modern day surgery all type of ectomy procedures can be included in this chedan procedure and so sushruta is very much uh, so this these all things you know because i am not going to talk about much about the things which are cited already in the text so sushruta has given a list of bhaganda rasti mamsa shalya galashundika adi mamsa valmika updamsha adrusha mamsa sanghata shleshmika all these procedures all these uh, diseases are cited by acharya sushru and uh, similarly acharya charaka has also mentioned few diseases which needs to be sacrificed which need which are not extra which are not needed in the body which needs to be removed uh, removed from the body and if they are removed from the body they are not going to cause any sort of problem to the body now one more very important thing we cannot 
remove we cannot remove the uh, pathologies or the growths from the body like how i am talking to you i i am talking to you to just remove the thing and you cannot remove that we need certain sort of uh, instrument specially designed instrument for a particular growth for example we want to remove remove uh, remove something which is uh, something uh, which is circular in nature we need a instrument which which causes which uh, re, which chops or which removes only that particular growth not other part or which do not affect the other parts of the body so sushruta has again cited few few uh, few instruments depending upon the structure which is to be sacrificed from the body for example he has cited about the mandala agrisha outer part is very much smooth but inner part is sharp one so that also depend again that also depend upon which type of uh, structure you are going going to remove similar is the karapatra if the, uh, the the cutting part is sharp one or the ridge edges are there it it for example if you want to remove you can remove it from the you can remove it from the like you uh, you can remove the, all the bony parts similarly is the vriddhi patra vriddhi patra again like for example these all instruments which are designed by chari sushruta these are need these instruments Uh, are designed depending upon the structures because we cannot remove all structures with a similar instrument so depending on the we have to analyze we have to think like how acharya sushruta how acharya sushruta designed these instruments for removing such type of structures or extra structures from the body similar is a mudrika instrument utpal patra instrument ardha dhara instrument these are certain these are, these these pictures which i have uh, like i have pasted here are collected from some texts these are not exactly the uh, exactly the like exactly the instruments which are available in the modern market but this instrument depending on the how the how the shape can be the uh, the sushruta has designed told about in the way they these instruments are prepared of see for chedana karma the how the what the sushruta has told such type of procedures can be included under this uh, in uh, included under the modern surgical procedure for example ectomy procedures for for here is here that we are um, i'm putting the link and the first picture you can see the part up akeshu rogeshu kathireshu sthireshu cha this part is already hanging from the body and this part cannot be re reposed back or or if the vessels are compromised if the bone is already compromised and in in this case when it is difficult for a person to rejoin these two structures which are separated upon we need to it's better to sacrifice we is better to remove this part so that so that we can save the patient similar is the case in get up again case of appendicectomy this is again a part vestigial organ but when it develops infection we have to remove that part if we remove the appendix also we are not going to any see any sort of complications we are not going to see any sort of uh, uh, any sort of problem in coming future but if we keep this appendix infected appendix in the patient surely it's going to cause peritonitis in the later stages or some sort of septic changes in the patient similar is the case of hemangiomas we need to remove mastectomies these they, they, these are some some of the examples which i am trying to quote over here because this this need, needs to be removed off similar is the one more example we have got femoral hernia sac excision and repair sac is there sac is causing the bulge of the uh, bowels into that sac so we remove the sac we repair the posterior wall we get we get the uh, we get the strengthened posterior wall and we can avoid the further uh, for we can uh, we can avoid the further bulge of that uh, intestines and to avoid so many obstruct obstructions in the future case if we remove the if we remove this uh, sac in the later in the pre in the initial stages only future future of complications can be prevented on similar is a posterior lobe excision if we don't remove this lobe it's going to cause some sort of it's going to cause urinary retention to the patient if there is a urinary retention to the patient patient may develop so many other complication relation to the kidneys so we have to remove and patient is not comfortable because throughout the night you may, so majority of you belong to these science only and we all have studied about this we benign prostatic hyperplasia so we if we remove that posterior lobe patient is symptom free and patient can leave the rest of the life very very nicely next procedure is about the vedan karma the act of breaking or the rupture we just have to rupture that part or we have to remove that part that is again again very very important procedure so what sushruta is telling is ant puya puya shu vatreshu tatha usangam swapicha gatimastu charogeshu praptam uchate 
any sort of supportive lesions if there is first formation it is obstructed in the part we have to provide a lead we have to provide a outlet we have to provide a way through that the pus can be the pus can be extruded out of pus can be removed out in this procedure we can include all ostomy procedures first what we have to do is vedana like if we have to do, for example if we are planning to go for the excision also we have to start the procedure with the help of incision only we have to give incision later on we will be proceeding to the further and then we can remove if any any of the things we have to remove any of the structures which are planning to remove we can remove that off again this is a compilation work like what the sushruta has told which indications for bedan karma what all the procedures what all the uh, diseases where we have to perform the bedan karma and in charaka also a few diseases are listed here so which needs uh, bedan karma again what how we have discussed in the previous uh, uh, previous uh, previous uh, this one chedan karma previous uh, topic like uh, chedan karma similar is the bedan karma also we have to have some particular instruments for bedan karma it's not like we can use the chedan chedan instruments for the bedan sushruta has very particularly told about vridhi patra nakshastra mudrika utpal patra and ardha dhara shastra to be used for bedan karma see here are the some procedures which we can compare with the mod, which are modern days procedure need same access same uh, thing which are told by achar sushruta as far as the bedan karma is concerned for example there is a collection of pus we have to perform ind we have to give an incision we have to remove the contents which are which are present in the cavity it can be pus it can be blood it can be any sort of fluids we have to remove that out similarly is the case with the in case of inguinal hernia inguinal lymph node if there is a like collection we have to drain it off if you won't drain patient will complain of severe pain may develop fever in the few uh, uh, further stages this is the case if in for example if there is any sort of obstruction if we will pass we will be passing the endoscope we will be ballooning that will be crushing that part and similarly we will be removing that whatsoever is collected in in that and those uh, in the abdominal in the stomach cavity similarly jejunostomy tube we will just bypass that thing we will place a tube so that the procedure uh, so that the collection can can be avoided on one more example is like after the procedure is done hello Hello. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Continue, sir. Okay. So we have what one more exam. I'm a Bobinder. Is is there any doctor Bobinder? Is there any diff? Audible. Audible. Okay. No. Uh, the one more thing is very very important. Like we per we usually perform in surgeries, abdominal surgeries, where we expect post operative collection. So we usually put post operative drains. we put post operative drains so that if there is any collection that collection can be taken off that collection can be removed so what happens in that case if the collection is taken off so there cannot the, the collection can be further avoided on so that is again very very important thing
Katarina. Hello, Ritu ma'am. Am I audible? Yes, sir. You are. Ma'am, due to technical issues, sir has left us. Okay. Within shortly, sir will join us, sir, ma'am. Okay. okay. Uh, Dr. Bupinder, I am audible. Sir, you are audible. Okay, okay. I am extreme, extremely okay. sorry because of some uh, light failure. Uh, I couldn't continue. So, we'll again I'll continue with that. I think we have already finished. We'll be starting with the Lekhan Gani. Shall I start? Yes. Okay. Next is about the Lekhan Karma. Lekhan is a word about the third. Lekhan is among the third karma in Madras to Shasta Karmas. And what Sushruta is trying to tell is anything which is extra or having a, which is coating or pro providing a layer over the thing, it is it is to be scrapped off or it is to be curated off. It is to be removed out. What Sushruta is saying? Katinan sthula vritta ostam. Dhirimanam punah punah katina utsannam amsasha lekane charet vishak. So what is what is trying to take any anything which is uh, which is hard, which has in, having some lips formation or forming a layer over that part, it is to be scraped off. So we don't have to give much of the excision. We are just uh, very very like around 45 degrees angle we have to keep, and with that angle we have to excise. Excise it's not exactly the excision. We just keep like if we have if we are putting the knife on the 90 degree 90 degrees angle, then surely it's going to be excision uh, excision procedure. But when we keep it on the 45 degrees, we are not going to harm the layers, but we are just going to remove those layers and form uh, and later on after after that we will be curating. We are just removing scraping of that upper layer. 
this one this procedure lekan karma is diagnostic it it can be you because many times we just take the upper layer and send it for histopathological examination and similarly when we remove it off we can apply for example uh, shar karma as far as the shar karma is in in hemorrhoids we usually do uh, like when i was uh, when i was um, teaching in uh, pg department in jai in the jammu institute of higher research we have many research projects which are done over the application of shara over the uh, hemorrhoids and we have done this procedure on many many other so this is again like first we will be removing we will be just scraping of the layer which uh, like we will be having so that the layer should not disrupt the uh, the the medicine so similarly after that after the, after that removal we will applying the shara so that we can get the optimum result which we are expecting and this procedure act as a mechanical as well as a chemical mechanical means will removing chemical means when we apply shara for anything we if we if we apply it's going to absorb into system so that is going to cause or or many times for example uh, like if we apply the shara also it's going to again remove the upper layer of the uh, tissues so that's again this procedure is having both the both both uh, benefits like it acts as a diagnostic Similarly, as a therapeutic, and it's mechanical as well as we can mechanically also we can do with help of instruments. And similarly, we can apply some chemical, and we'll get the optimum result which we are expecting. And how it is to be done? So, should I say samam likhe, so likhe dam likhe nirveshita navratmanam tu pramanam samam chasram. Because we have to apply, we will be applying, we will be when we are going to go going to perform this procedure. It is to be performed very very smoothly. We are not going to remove. We are not going to remove uh, disrupt the. A, a, a normal layer of the body that's again very 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 important so again sushuta so has uh, cited a few diseases uh, over which the lekan karma is to be done and charaka uh, told about kilasa kushta and variant kushta variants like different types of skin disorders we can apply shara and we we can apply we can go with a lekan karma and we can get the optimum results after application of this this procedure and what about the shastras which are we are we are planning which we are doing uh, which are using for this lekan shastra uh, lekan uh, karma is mandala shastra karpatra shastra and uh, like procedures which are included in the, this uh, lekan karma is wound debridement when we whenever we we uh, like we uh, we dress a wound uh, we just remove this uh, layers we just remove we just clean the wound and let let uh, on followed after cleaning the wound we just uh, go for the bandaging liposuction patient go, uh, very obese Uh, optimum for uh, bariatric surgeries. There we go for liposuction. We remove the extra lipid tissues, and then uh, that is again a procedure of a sort of lekan karma only because there's excessive collection of that adipose tissue. And liposuction with the help of liver, like this is where nowadays many foreigners, many Western peoples, they are coming to India because of medical tourism. I know. I think most of you people may be knowing about that. You may have, uh, you may be having the vision about that. All the, this procedure, like many people. many people coming to india uh, with with a like intention of medical tourism and obese people they just go for the liposuction or bariatric surgeries and that cost in western western world uh, around many many dollars but in india it's very very cheap as compared to that one so people come to india for this procedure this can be included under lekan karma next biopsy procedure we take a small tissue we just take a tissue from the edge of the infected part and then we send it for histopathological examination we get uh, we get we come to know about the disease similarly then we can adopt the treatment procedure also after the after the after getting that result this is uh, these few are the examples which we we see at today's um, today's uh, today's uh, time which we perform like endoscopic vacuum curettage is there wound debridement we you can see the, the instrument tray we have so many things we have a uh, forceps we just cure we just rub the wound we just uh, very slowly rub the wound we remove the upper layer or the debris layer and then we apply the medications and then we we can we initiate the wound granulation tissue uh, for for the wound see here is example of wound like this you can see wound all the dead tissue is removed they are trying to remove the dead tissues they are going to going to perform they they are performing they are performing this They, they are performing this uh, removal of the extra tissues, and later on they will the person will dress this wound. You can see may, many other uh, in procedure in in case of heart. If there is any collection, if there is any um, uh, cholesterol deposition, 
we just remove we just take it out with the help of many many uh, we have many instruments for that we remove that and then uh, that uh, with collection deck scraping we will be removing that so the circulation can be initiated later on normal circulation i'll say so so things can be uh, the patient can live a, a good life after after these procedures this is like one example which i am putting this is an example of of our de of our department you can see this wound Good man. Ma'am, शायद सर का थोड़ा network problem है उधर, तो बार बार disconnect disconnect हो रहा है इसीलिए. Call करके करो. हाँ बोला मैंने उनको ma'am. तो बोल रहे हैं वो network issue है इसीलिए disconnect हो रहा है बार बार. कर लेंगे अभी join. ठीक है. Okay.
आ गया यार लिंक पे हां 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 आ गया आ गया चल फोन काट अब हेलो यस सर यस डॉक्टर मोहिंदर यस सर ओके ओके uh dear friends i am extremely sorry i don't know what is happening here uh, even though everything is getting normal but in between between it stops starts working and i had again once i just go on speaking once once i get the call from dr popinda then i come to know like every something has went wrong so that's why again i am extremely sorry for this uh, interruption but but what i can do it's not in my hands so i'm trying to justify the things anyhow i'll start again i think this was a slide which we we were uh, like we faced problem isn't it won't the right sir no okay okay uh, so th this again you can see this this example like um, wound debridement many times what like, this is a picture you can see this wound like for uh, lekan karma is done if you have to if we if we need to uh, send uh, examine this discharge of this uh, this wound then we have to scrape this off and then we have to send it for histopathological examination you can see the punch biopsy like for example if we uh, uh, we are going for any any sort of laparoscopic procedures and we see some abnormalities uh, we see some growth or we see some some sort of uh, in any abnormality uh, in the tissues so if we if we want to examine that we we usually go for the punch biopsy we just punch and we take the tissue from the edge and we send it for histopathological examination this is again a sort of punch biopsy why i am talking about this thing is because uh, now you you may ask the question like sir it's it how it can be punch biopsy we will be taking the tissue from the uh, from the superficial layer only we will be sending it and in this way this is a therapeutic this is a therapeutic because this will help us to uh, know about whether the this growth or this sort of uh see this this is the growth this is the growth you can see this is the sort this, this is not a normal tissue the growth so here from here we will be taking a punch biopsy and we will be sending it for histopathological examination this is again a kidney biopsy under the ultrasonographic guidance like uh this the from here ultrasonic uh, probe is passed and with the help of that probe like uh, this probe is the, this uh, needle is passed with the help of that probe we can see that where the needle is going on then we can if there is any sort of biopsy which is any sort of growth which needs to be examined then we can take a punch we can send it for histopathological examination next is about the vedan karma vedan is nothing but to drain or to puncture okay to put a drain so that the collections can be taken out so paracentesis if there is any collection of fluid in the abdominal cavity or any sort of cavity in any cavity we need to remove that fluid that is that is a procedure of paracentesis so like collection which needs to be taken out is known as vedan karma minimal access we don't put big of incisions in that we just put a small incision and we make the lid to be in this can be compared with the intravenous cannulas like we just put a iv cannula you majority of you may be knowing about so students those who are for prof they usually see cases or in second prof they usually, third prof they can usually they usually see the cases in, in hospital so uh, that intravenous cannulas central venous pressure cannulas intraocular cannulas intra arterial can, cannulas these all cannulas or any uh, these are cannulas which are uh, which are put depending upon the structure like in case of in bones or in arteries or in veins is with that that is put in to uh, to to make the things to collections to let it out or we if in case we have to inject something in that can be done with the help of this procedure so should has given different types of uh, siras mutravridis and the collections collection for example in in case of hydrocele there is a collection that needs to be evacuated out so similarly charaka is given some example like the kodara pakogulma rakta gulma dusre rakta janya vyadhis like visarpa pedikas next is about the instruments then it's about kutharika vrihi mukha and vetasma patra you can see the sharp edge of that instrument make a very small opening which which makes the collection to let it out so these are very small the the the, the anterior part of the tip of that instrument is very very sharp and very small so the very the opening will be very very small to uh, to take out the collection which is present inside the cavity 
so this is one example which you have all most of majority of you might have seen especially the fourth row students the stroker and cannula the central venous catheter insertion again this is catheter we with any anything which you you can go for the siravedan procedure also we use the catheter you bore needle 18 gauze uh, cannula to remove that um, we uh, this one rakt, uh, raktavisravan that procedure which we are doing that is again again a procedure that we, that can be included in this procedure now this see we, you can see spleen it cyst drainage if we have to drain that out slit uh, cyst of the spleen we'll make a small incision and then we can take out you can see the mess which is present because of the blood and uh, blood and that and collection of the fluid which is present in the splenic cyst. Next is about the thoracosynthesis. Again, collection of thorax region needs to be evacuated out. The procedure is called thoracosynthesis. It can be included under the Vedat Karma again. Next is about the parasynthesis. That is I parasynthesis, CSF fluid aspiration. When you go for when you go for uh, this one spinal this uh, saddle block or the uh, uh, spinal uh, anesthesia, you just uh, you just confirm once the needle is inserted out. Inserted in, you can uh, confirm whether the whether the needle is in C2 or not with the help of cere cerebrospinal fluid. Many, 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 many times when there is a central venous pressure is raised, uh, the many times when this uh, this uh, brain pressure is raised, that in that case we need to uh, remove the cerebrospinal fluid and the patient's pressure can be released. And these are many procedures with the usually neurosurgeons are performed. We don't usually perform these procedures. Next is about the Asian curve. Asian is usually a probe you just pass a probe into the cavity to know about the track to know about the length of the track this procedure is both like this is a shirley procedure also this is a diagnostic procedure also you can go the therapeutic procedure and it's a diagnostic procedure both so in, in case of not even in case of any sort of sinuses in sort in sinuses, you have to pass a probe. With when you pass the probe, you will come to know about the track, and then you can proceed accordingly. So Sushruta says, what what instruments like what is to be used to go for Asian karma? He says, Karir bal anguli Asian ya veshad veshad. Karir bal karir na samata ankur a bud like bud ke jo tum piche dekho you can see a small very very soft tender. Uh, uh, like I don't, I like, like you can use use the term stem, which is present uh, after the uh, that um, a bud that can be used. You can uh, used for Asian karma. That that means you don't need to perform it. Uh, like procedure could be performed in such a way. It should not. It should not make a hydrogenic track. You you want to know about the track. You just want to see about the track. You just want to know about the length of the track. But you just don't want to pay, create a hydrogenic track. And that is very uh, that is only possible with a very soft probe which you are using so sushruta has given some example you can use accordingly you can use the silver probes also presently many 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 fistula surgeons are using that so sushruta is, sushruta is telling you can use karir you can use bala you can use hair you can use anguli so these three things can be used to asian to intervene to to see the to see the uh, to look or to see for the uh, this uh, probe uh, to see for the Asian karma. So it's a diagnostic procedure and it's a very very minimal invasive technique. You don't go for you don't need a very big uh, excisions. You don't need very big instruments for that. This procedure to be performed. Asian or probing is done for srotoka shalya udhanartham and kriya sokaryartham. These are the function. This shalya udhanartham and kriya sokaryartham is a function of nadi yantra. So when you pass an adiantra, when you pass a probe, you can collect look for the shalya which is present there. And similarly, with simultaneously, you can perform the therapeutic procedure also. What examples we can quote? We can quote fistula track detection. Detection, like if you want to go for the fistula track, you want to know about the fistula track, you can go go for that. You can know for the uh, if you want to know for the foreign bodies. For example, in 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 esophagus, if the foreign body is obstructed. So to remove that foreign body, you have to pass the endoscope. When you pass the endoscope, you can see the foreign body and that foreign body can be removed out. These are the first certain examples. Indication for Aishan Karma, Nadi Varana, either Shalya or Nishalya. So Nadi Varana is Nadi Varana sinuses or the fistula. We can include both in this case. 
if any shell is for example many times uh, when we uh, dr bobinder also know many times we, we when we were perform when we perform during his, in his pg studies when we perform fistula probing we saw uh, fish uh, fish uh, that thorn in that so uh, many times we see some uh, um, this vegetable parts coming out from that fistula tract to know about the fistula tract whether shalyas are present or shalya is not present first thing and to see the position of that tract whether it's a curved one whether it's a oblique one whether it's a straight one that can be analyzed with the help of asian karma and in varna examination also this asian karma has a vital role what instrument is to be used asian is the instrument which is used asian is both shastra and yantra this again is very important see this is a tooth probing the example of tooth probing this is a tooth probe which is used for uh, removing the tartar next is aharan karam samvrit and samvrit samritaishu vraneshu matiman vishayata aharam ashalyam praptam udram shalyam akshanam so anything to be extracted out to be removed out like if, if anything which is present it is obstructing the part or normal flow that to be removed out when it is removed out normal flow can be initiated so pull out techniques any pull out techniques of modern days can be included in the aharan karma and when when we are removing we have to ensure that there is complete extraction or complete removal of that particular if we fail to do that our procedure is a failure procedure and we won't get the optimum result which we are expecting after this procedure so endoscopic foreign body extractions renal calculus bladder calculus anything any, any uh, for example any foreign body extraction uh, foreign body impactions in the either in the colon or in the esophagus needs to be removed that can be all these procedures can be included under the aharan karma sushruta has given some sharkaras danta karnamala ashmaris foreign bodies mood garbha fecolis fecolis this also we we uh, like um, in our clinical practice we see many many cases of fecolis patient usually complains of abdominal pain pain in the uh, lower part of the rectum and he is he usually complains that i i am unable to pass out the uh, fecal material from past 2 3 3 days 4 days even in old age patient may complain many times that i, I have not passed the stool from 5 6 days so what happens in that case the fecal uh, this fecal is the gets embedded they usually embeds into the uh, uh, in the in the colon and patient finds it very very difficult to pass and when the patient is unable pass surely is not going to get relief from the uh, from the he, he may not be able to concentrate on anything full day he may be uh, very much distressed so this thing, any any anything which is obstructing the normal flow needs to be removed to initiate the normal flow so that the patient may get the relief so all these process uh, one more example is ashmari if there is any ashmari if there is any uh, uh, stone which is present in a, in a ureter you can imagine the condition of patient usually tosses on the bed he don't gets relief in any any posture so what what we what is the procedure we just if we remove that stone patient gets usually immediate uh, uh, relief from the symptoms so and we use some many times we give uh, we give some uh, muscle relaxant so muscles are relaxed and so if the stone passes down the patient usually gets relief from the symptoms usually in case of renal colic or in the ureteric colic next is about the shastras which are used in aharan karma that is badisha hooked instruments so that that can be easy in in case of ureteric calculus we use dormia basket so we just uh, pass the dormia basket over the stone and once the, the dormia basket is open we can pull it pull that uh, stone which is present in the ureteric calculus so that again very very important uh, procedure and very very important technique which is used to relieve uh, the symptoms in case of patient of ureteric calculus and these are the certain examples which are these are certain instruments which are used for aharan karam see here are examples you can see foreign body extraction from the stomach some some of uh, that uh, uh, polythene bag has some student has involved and um, taken in so that is removed in another case you can see a uh, safety pin is and uh, engulfed by the student uh, by the child so that is uh, again trying to remove with alpha instruments you can see the renal stone that i have already quoted out so renal stone extraction this is the renal stones you can see these these renal stones are removed after taking incision this so this process extraction procedure not alone procedure is combination of many procedures you can see this um bhedan karma also is done so we have put in incision then we had proceeded in then we had local uh, localized stones and then we have then we have removed these stones from the body 
then you can see a DNA extraction. This can be also included. This, this can be also DNA extraction, then analyzing the patient. And many, many, many diseases, many treatments are done with the help of this. this the next is about the after passing the thoditions, nasal speculum, then the foreign bodies move from the uh, this child's nose. Some some rubber uh, rubber is inserted into the child's nose, and that is moved with the help of this thoditions, nasal speculum. Next is about the Vistravan Karam. Vistravan is nothing but the blood electing procedure. So uh, blood electing uh, treatment in current science. We can uh, we can correlate it with that procedure and uh, clinical relevance is, it can be established and we we have like very thing very much to learn from the Vedan karm and it is different from the Vedan karm okay indication all vidratis visarpa Uptamsha, pushta vranshoba stana rogas these are some some list of in diseases which are cited by Acharya Sushruta and other person. the instruments which are used for Visravan karma. Again, the Suchi, Antar Mukha, Kushapatra, Aati Mukha, Sharari Mukha, Trikur. These, 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 these instruments, see, uh, from the starting, I am trying to, uh, I have I, I, I made a com compilation of these instruments also, which instrument can be used for which type of uh, procedure. This is very, very important if students are opting to go for post-graduation, if they are opting to go for, uh, to appear in some, uh, Postgraduate entrance examinations. So usually, these type of questions are asked. You are you are supposed to learn all these instruments, which is which karma is used in which type of procedures. This is again very very important. Next is about the Sivan karma. Sivan is nothing but the suturing techniques. Different different suturing techniques and same suturing technique cannot be applied for all type of vranas. Depending upon the vrana, depending upon the condition of the wound, we have to put a suture we have to apply a suture we we have many suturing techniques we are continuous sutures we are mattress sutures we are continuous locking sutures so we have got many many suturing techniques so that that all depends upon the uh, wound which is formed and once the wound is analyzed uh, one more important thing is thing is that we have to see where we are like we if we have to remove the suture after few days then we put suture in the same way we use a material different material so that can, can be taken out taken out then that is not absorbable by the body but if we are planning to put the suture in only we don't like we are expecting not to remove the suture later on we usually use the absorbable material so sushuta is telling main intention is to sandhan to join the wound edges to join the vrana edges we our our main death. and it's only done where the paka is done. if the paka is it then we would don't, usually don't go for the suturing technique if we if the pus is there if we go for suturing technique surely it's going to cause it's, it's not going to retain the sutures and later on uh, burst abdomen or in in depending on the structure for example if the abdomen is there it's going to cause burst, burst abdomen condition for the one thing later thing later important one more important thing is that if the wound is infected we have to keep the wound to get healed by second intention instead of instead of using the suturing techniques so all type of suturing techniques can be included in the seven karma presently stapling techniques laparoscopic sutures this these are nothing but the intention is same principle is same like we have to we have to sandan we have to join the edges of the wound and then we have to suture it out so that so that the approximation is done so that healing can be initiated fast to you reunite the viable structures and if the structure is dead again what i am telling to you if the structure is dead we usually don't suture it out if we suture nothing we, nothing is going to and then because our blood supply is compromised so healing cannot be initiated in one more important thing is that we have to prevent the contamination we have to initiate the healing process we have to have go, to go for seven karma next is to promote healing and to minimize the scar formation we have different type of suturing techniques so we will put the subcuticle suture at the end of the healing we see only a single line no big big scars formation okay so seven vyadis are sadhya vranas sulikit vranas Chalasandhi, Ashit Vranas, Shastra Karma, Pashat Vranas, Shira, Ashisuta, Shosta, Vranasana, Buddha, etc. Ashit Vranas. One more very, very important thing is that where sutra should not be done. Again, it's very important. For example, like I am telling you, you have to suture a fresh wound. But if you have 
uh, applied a shower over part over that part or if there is a agni karam performed on on that particular part usually suturing is avoided usually suturing is avoided and in case of where from where the varan uh, from where the air is coming out these are the indication acharya sushruta is selling agar if you go for suturing technique in this type of varanas you are going to land up in complications so contaminated wounds wounds from where the air is coming out dushvranas shar jit vranas agni jit vranas vishjit vranas in these vranas usually in these vranas definitely you have to avoid the sevan karma again sevan is ruju granthi vilatika gopani kan tun sevani we can include we can compare it with the interrupted sutures continuous sutures button hole or interlocking sutures and the subcuticular sutures you can imagine the scientificness of the procedures which has told by acharya sushruta he is very much particular about the about the drugs which are to be used about the material which is to be used for the sevana so he is he is telling ashmantaka murva guruchi these are the plant origin things which can be used for suturing techniques from animal origin you can use snayu or the hair sevan vidhi actually how we the, the, like how we have to perform the sevan karma again that is very very important and if you perform is uh, like the sevan vidhi is not included in the sevan dravya this head uh, separate heading like sevan vidhi is a separate heading like as sevan dravya and sevan prakaras sevan vidhi like if the wound when you are uh, going for the sevan karma if the uh, the approximation should be proper and the suture which you have applied over, over the wound should not be too far and should not be too near average it should be performed so that there, there should not be any tension or if, if it is too tight then there will be tension over the tissues and if it is too long the purpose of suturing is not not sir what are the instruments which are used for sevan karma sevan karma suchi that is a needle which is used for the we have cutting needle we have round body needle depending cutting needle we usually use for the hard structures like skin and other structures like if it is a circular one we use for the soft tissues like intestines and all see the, some examples like laparoscopic stapling the ban uh, banal mayer tendon repair technique this again a technique which is usually used for the tendon repairing this laparoscopic stapling techniques endoscopic suturing of varices varices if there is so much of like if the esophageal varices or you know anal varices so in that case we usually go for the endoscopic suturing of the varices the bleeding can be prevented in that case this is again an example of laparoscopic suture you can see this these two laparoscopic parts and the suturing is done this was this was all about the ashtanga shastra karma you, you, I, i have tried to compare these procedures in the modern days procedure like what sushruta has told about these procedure in the in the in the past in the literature same procedures are followed in the today's uh, today's scenario today's world but with slight modifications again so along with this technique sushruta has also explained about the sandhan karmas like kalm karnapali sandhan nasa sandhan like uh, these are procedures usually done for the um, plastic surgeons and is one of the oldest plastic surgery techniques nowadays also is performed but the thing is that with available materials what all available material depending on the situation i am sorry i am sorry i am sorry i think students are getting sorry sir for interruption Continue, uh, continue, continue. Okay, but his approach was different. Why I am telling you his approach was different? You, uh, I am a Shalya teacher, and presently you are hearing a Shalya lecture. The important thing is that you won't get everything everywhere. You won't get everything everywhere. Depending upon the situation, depending upon the material, depending upon the environment, you have to use the material, and you have to. for the purpose see i am presently uh, where i worked for more than 13 years i got everything there i was having very established oti there i was having so many instrument i was having a, a team of very very dedicated pg scholars very very dedicated pg scholars there and we are performing many procedures over there and we have very established department but now i have shifted to some other institute that is government institute now i am not getting all the things and but 
because the zeal is not like um, um, hindering me so whatever the available materials are there i am trying to purchase from my own pocket i am trying to uh, asking my colleagues also to accompany me and we have already started the procedure in this uh, new new college what i am telling you what my teacher was te used to tell me whatever the available materials are present with you you have to perform those don't try to find out high five things because what i was trying to do because when you know about some high five things you will try to do the lower things also but this should not happen you should start with the base only you should start the minor procedure then you go should go for the big big procedures so what my uh, only uh, message to you people is at the last i want to give you that is like uh, try to utilize the resources which is which are available to you don't search for the hi fi procedures don't search for the hi fi uh, ot's don't search for the hi fi uh, staff with whatever the procedures you know whatever the materials you have you have just go with that so what i just now i want to conclude even though this concept gained much importance in the recent times but this concept was successfully practiced by charya sushuta basis Basic concept of plastic surgery has been designed on the basis of principle laid down by the Acharya Sushruta. What it means? Like what are the procedures are cited by the Acharya Sushruta? Same procedures are practiced at present also, but with slight modification. See, when after few years, when I when we will be having everything with modular OT in our hospital, I I'll be showing you some on a video presentation. May maybe I'll present some video presentations to you. But at present, with the available resources, we are trying to similar is the. Uh, similar is the case with you also when you start joining when you start practicing you may get so many problems you may get so many issues you may get so many related issues with the medicine staff hospital government so many things but when you start doing good practice people will initiate you people will support you patient will support you and when patient support is there surely you can get a good name and fame this is all about about the today's presentation again i would like to thank all the all the management and all the Uh, uh, faculty members and principal, uh, vice principal, principal, and coordinator of today's session for giving me this opportunity uh, to present uh, this webinar. I am wholeheartedly thank you once again to all of you for patient listening. I know, and I am uh, really very uh, sorry for the interruption because of some network issue in between two times we have uh, we have lost the connection. So I am really, uh, really thank uh, uh, sorry for that also. Thank you once again. thank you sir for this wonderful presentation hope our student have got more knowledge about ashvesh shastrakram how the whole surgery is totally dependent upon this this ashvesh shastrakram you explained each and everything in a very simple way sir thank you sir if anyone have query please send it to the chat box can i ask you sir hello हेलो 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 मैं आस्क यू वन क्वेश्चन सर हेलो Yes, sir. You are audible. You can ask your question, sir. In regarding uh, the surgery, what is the anesthesia approach? Can we adapt to modern medicine, or do do we have any option in the in our system? Hello. हेलो हेलो सॉरी टू इंटरप्ट भूपिंदर सर आई गेस सुदेश गुप्ता सर हैज लेफ्ट यू कैन आंसर इट क्वेश्चन सर हेलो रिपीट योर क्वेश्चन सर सर कैन वी हैव एनी सब्स्टिट्यूट ऑप्शन फॉर एनेस्थीशिया 
except the modern medicine we need not to approach still sir still we don't have any option except modern medicine sir sir what are the limitations for uh, shelly tantra in ayurveda surgeries there are so many in the ancient time there are so many sir uh, limitation what in old days our science is improving each and everything the shushrut has explained our these uh, shastra yantra now each and every instrument the modern medi one sir one 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 second sir sorry for interruption sir will joined us shortly if anyone have any query please send it to the chat box sir will joined us due to technical problem sir has left within 2 to 3 minutes sir will joined us if anyone have any query please send it to your chat box हेलो सर हेलो यस सर यस सर यू आर जॉइंड सर डॉक्टर भूपिंदर यस सर आई एक्चुअली व्हाट हैपेंड यू नो आवर नेट वाज ऑफ सो आई एम जस्ट नाउ आई जॉइंड फ्रॉम मोबाइल नाउ यस सर बिकॉज़ आई हैव ऑलरेडी अनाउंस सर इफ एनीवन हैव क्वेरी प्लीज सेंड इट टू द चैट बॉक्स नो व्हाट यू हैव actually the issue is there because i am trying to connect it from the wifi so they have stopped college people have stopped wifi or they just say lower so that's why i i am now joined from mobile okay okay sir so yes there is no question sir in the one, chat one box one message one message i want to give to all the students yes sir i think i have majority of the majority of these people are our students only final year students of third post student yes sir important thing is like surgery is all depend upon your skills surgery all depends upon your dedication toward the toward the science it's not like it's not a like a thing i just now i spoke to you like i finally be talking about ashwish sasakar tomorrow you can perform the ashwish sasakar ma it's all about many from where i did my graduation and post graduation that that college the like gsdm would be college people performing procedure having our anesthetist also my um, my respected teacher dr s subramaniam but he was that is from the bhu 
like he did his post graduation in Sangya Haran. So we were having our own team in SDM Udupi and here also, but in Jammu it's not possible to have our. Uh, it was not like I didn't have any um, uh, person from the uh, from the Ayurvedic fraternity, but model people are cooperating a lot with me because the thing is that once you start giving the results to the patient, na, and the con with the confidence you perform the procedure, definitely people will appreciate you. Even the modern people also will appreciate you. You have to show your capability with the procedure. You have to show the dedication. You have to show the result. Until unless you don't show that, nobody is going to support you. And, and people say, surgery me to kuch hota nahi. Ayurvedic people aise kuch karte hain, hota kuch. Importantly, before uh, before I left my uh, presentation, I told you. You have to have a like you have to make and make the sources available. Whatever the sources are available to you, you have to utilize those resources and start practicing. It's not like it, today only you have to perform the appendicectomy. Start with the wound treatment. Uh, once the dressing is done, you can go with the other procedure. It's not like today only you have to perform everything. That's all about. Sir, you are not audible. Yeah, I am audible. I can hear you. Okay, nice. okay, 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 sir. Sir, one person has asked one question. What are the limitation of our Shalya Tantra? Shalya Tantra limitation. <laughs> very every, I think every science has limitation. Every subject has limitation. If we are going to count the limitation of any subject, there are, uh, we can write almost one book on limitation. So, I think. Sushruta, no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I agree with you, Dr. Kupinda. Sushruta is very interestingly one thing told. Ekam shastram na dhi mano na vijana shastram nishyam dasmat bhaushrutam shastram vijani ya chikitraka. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. To, to become a good physician, you, you cannot yeah. limit one subject. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You have to learn many, many subjects to, to acquaint knowledge from other subjects. Then you can practice more nicely. And to, have, to be a good surgeon, you... You should be a good physician first. Yes, sir. So, so I very clearly told Tatra Snehadi Kriyashu Sastrakanam na kriyate. When you can think, yes, you can take the case with the help of Snehadi Kriyas with the medicinal procedure. Don't opt for the procedure of surgery. For very one very important thing is that uh, being a part of Shalitantra, being a student of Shalitantra, being a teacher of Shalitantra, issue preservation. Uh, criteria should be the first preference. We 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 don't want. Sushruta is very clearly told. We have to save the tissues. Like it's not like the patient has come to many amputations are prevented in SDM Udupi. When I was doing that presentation, many 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 amputations are prevented. It was my thesis project of uh, Nimbadit Kalyan Brana. So many patients, those who are advised amputation by modern surgeons, were treated successfully in our hospital. So what I want to tell you, you people is, you have to build your own confidence. Don't talk about what I can do, what I cannot, do, I cannot do. Everybody cannot do everything. By seeing the available resources, you have to perform the things. That's all. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much. I extend my gratitude to our honorable guest speaker, Dr. Sudesh Gupta, sir, to take out time from his busy schedule to grace the event. I hope, sir, that whenever we need you in future, you keep supporting us like this, sir. Thank sure. you, sir. Sure, sure. I also would like to express my gratitude to all the esteemed delegates of the webinar for their presence and contribution to make this webinar a great success. Thank you, everyone. So this week, concluding our <clears throat> today's session, one announcement is there for tomorrow's webinar. Tomorrow's webinar is of Panchkaram Department at a morning session at 11 a.m. Thank you, sir. Thank you, thank everyone. You so much. All the wish, all the best wishes to all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much.